Hey everyone, my name is Michael Abrams and I am your new community manager. This is my first community spotlight, so try not to hate too hard on me just yet. Up first, we have some great art from Cole in the Seed of Andromeda community. He's made a skybox. Nice looking here. Up next is a purple planet desktop background. I can sort of see some influential hints of old Dragon Ball Z style art. Uh, not quite sure if you drew from that. That's okay. That's just what I see. This is open to interpretation. It's the beauty of it. So after this, we've got some pretty sweet looking wormhole action coming in here with vibrant, nice looking color dancing around in the background. Like a little fish. finish up Cole's regime, we have my personal favorite of his, completely biased, but that's alright, the Quasar, one of the brightest phenomenons to exist in our universe, and I think he did a super awesome job on that. And next we have some weapon art from Arctic, another community member. So we've got a sweet little submachine gun that he named the SMG 2650, the Wolf. Fires caseless 8mm POW cartridge at 800 rounds per minute. Manufacturing date on that is made in 2650, as per the title suggestion. This is favored by law enforcement for its high stopping power, lightness, versatility. There are varying mag sizes, and with those there are some jamming issues with higher capacities. For example, the 50 round does not fire as smoothly as, say, the 20 round. Though better recoil handling can come with the weight of the drums. His next weapon is the Battle Rifle SSR 14A2, 14A2. It fires a 7.62mm NATO round, still currently in use right now. Though he puts it in use in the 2600s, this archaic round has timeless applicability when across the centuries of usage. It is permitted for use by authorized Andromeda corporation contractors only and there can be death penalties for unauthorized use of them death penalties being the most extreme case of punishment they are meant for long range they have the selection of full and semi-automatic and as with the SMG you can get varying magazine sizes our next weapon comes from who is that kid another community member it is the NGATR, or as I first read it, the N-Gator. I don't know, call it what you want, you know? The next generation anti-tank rifle, firing a 17.92 by 166 millimeter cartridge. It has a 3.5 kilometer per second muzzle velocity with the addition of a coil accelerator. This coil accelerator is removable and also adds a considerable amount of weight to it, so should you find the need to fire rapidly, it seems like you probably want to take that off. It fires a shield breaker round that can knock out shields, but they shatter when hitting solid armor. So to deal with that, armor piercing rounds are an additional option. There's also available a radar scope that can show the condition of the target's shield and you know what, for you old school snipers out there, these the ingestible iron sight. The go-to for you Mark Wahlberg fanatics or whoever shoots out of iron sights nowadays. To finish off my first community spotlight, we have a slew of amazing art that I really, really enjoyed. All coming from Thomas988. Probably took him many hours to perfect given the amount of detail that it's shown in these. I'm gonna quickly talk over them. 
pause and scan them if you wish. They are still images. Up first, we have Aurora's over Phyto. Very nice. Up next, Noon on Aquarius. Nice looking little canyon there. Up next, Darwinian Dusk. Beautiful. I really like the contrast of the pixelation of the voxels with the smoothness of the planet in the background. Next is Night Horizon. Pretty self explanatory. Next is the Three Brothers. Some massive contrasting sides there. We have the sun falls below Darwin. Super cool looking thing. Could almost see that in a graphic novel of sorts. I can completely see that. Up next, the Trinity star system. A little seat of Andromeda at abstract poster. Because why not, you know? The rest of these images are his latest uploads, I believe, uh, all done on his work on Trinity and the Space Engine. This is super phenomenal, and to be honest, I might even steal one of these and use it as a background on my phone. This concludes my first community spotlight. Keep staying active on those forums and your contribution or art idea might just be featured next time. This is Michael and thanks for watching.